Hi, good afternoon. This is Mike with Lakeshore RV, and today we're going to take a look at a 2022 Wolf Pup 18TO Black Label Edition. And we'll just start on the outside and work our way through. So this one comes with a flip down travel rack. So you just flip it down, put some pins in it, and you can carry wood, coolers, things like that. Backup camera comes with. There's an app you can download on your phone. Just take a little picture of that screen right there, and that'll uh, get you a link right to um, the app. Got some uh, tie downs for your puppies. It's got a spot for an outside TV. Um, so you can take the TV from inside, same bracket, bring it outside, plug it into your electricity, your antenna, and then you're watching TV outside. Outside speakers. It's got a powered awning on it. That's a push of a button. Uh, we've gotten the wheels torqued at 120 foot pounds. We've done it and the factory's done it, but you should also do it. Um, and that's kind of what the factory's recommending. So check it periodically. And then you got an outside uh, refrigerator. You got the flip up stable steps, keeps the trailer from rocking around when you're coming in and out. LED spotlight on the outside. Um, huge cargo area. You can lift the bed up to access it. You can also access it from up here. And then 20 pound propane tank that's full and ready to go. We got a battery up top for you. And then you got your power jack. This will raise and lower it. There's also a telescoping foot on the bottom, so you can uh, telescope that out so you don't have to carry um, wood with you. Slide out if you're under trees. You want to make sure that when you, you don't have any sticks laying up there, so you bring it in, it doesn't rip the boot up. So I would just, if, again, if you're under trees, make sure there's no debris up there before you slide the room in. Uh, water heater runs off gas or electric. Electric switch is here. Propane switch is inside. So if you want the water heated off electricity and you're plugged in, just come out here, turn the switch on. If you want it to heat off propane, there's a switch inside for that. City water, you get to the campground, hook your water up, runs right off the pressure from the hose, screw your hose right into there, turn it on and you're good. If you don't have water, you fill this tank up ahead of time or as you pull into the site, um, and then that'll fill up your 30, 40 gallon fresh water tank. And then there's a pump switch that you use to pressurize the lines. And then the pump kicks on and off as you lose pressure. Outside uh, shower has hot and cold running water. Here's where you plug in. Uh, trailer's 30 amps. Comes with an adapter, so if you want to plug it in at the house, you can certainly do that. And then sewer dumps are in the, uh, the rear. So the big gate valve in the front is for the toilet. So you pull that, dump the waste. Once that's dumped, um, you close it and you pull the one in the rear, that's gray water, like the bathroom sink and shower. And that'll kind of just flush your hose out for you. And then that little hose is overflow. So if you overflow the fresh water, um, that's where you're gonna see that. So you have um, Bluetooth chargers on the wall. You got lights, 12 volt lights. Um, bed pulls up so you can access storage. There's a handle here. So you can lift that up and then again, you have lots of storage underneath that. So this is called your monitor panel. It's gonna let me know how full the battery is. So that's full. You connect it with Bluetooth. Again, download an app. You can get all this off an app. Fresh water tank's empty. The black and the gray tanks are empty. So as they fill up or, or go down, in case of the fresh water, that'll go down. These will climb up. And then once they get full or close to it, then it's time to dump it. You got awning lights. You got some exterior lights. There's the scare light up front. You can see it in the reflection through the window. Propane switch for the water heater. So if you're running off propane, you use here. If you want to run off electric, it's it's outside. Water pump switch we talked about is there. This will run the awning in and out. So just push a button and then this did the slide in and out. So with the slide, you just want to make sure you didn't leave anything in the way. Make sure that's nice and clear when you bring it in. And then refrigerator's 12 volt, runs right off the battery. There's a get battery disconnect switch there. So if you're not using it, you got it stored somewhere, turn that key, remove it. It'll keep your battery from dying. Otherwise, if you have it on the refrigerator, the converter, some detectors, those will always be on unless you disconnect it there. You can also turn the fridge off by holding it down for 10 seconds and that'll shut the refrigerator off. So if you want your battery charged, you want everything else on, 
Go ahead and shut the fridge off. And that's your travel lock. Thermostat for the furnace, real simple. Just kind of set it where you want it. Temperatures down below. And then here's a spot for your TV. There's all your hookups. Um, as far as the bathroom, toilet, um, there's chemicals that you want to drop in there. It breaks the waste down, breaks the toilet paper down, helps with the odor, and then you just step on the foot pedal and it'll flush it and uh, throw some water in there at the same time. And if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to give me a call. Again, this is Mike with Lakeshore RV. My number is 231-855-9998. Thanks.